What up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is KA Music Academy. I hope you guys are good. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash the subscribe button and smash the post notification bell, right? Without further ado, so today's lesson will be on a song, one of my favorite songs. It's an old song, right? So this is a song by Oxalate. It's called Away, all right? I'm sure you guys know it. If you know it, perfect. Let's go and learn the song. Let's get ready. Let's go straight to it. All right, guys. So firstly, we are playing this song on the key of C minor, C sharp minor. Sorry. Right? It's the same position as your normal B minor. You just slide it to your fourth fret. Right? For your C sharp minor. Okay. So we're playing this song in the key of C sharp minor, and it's a three chord progression. All right. So they are all minors. Right. So the first one is your F sharp minor. So you know your F sharp bar chord. This is the major bar chord, right? So for you to play your minor, you have to remove your middle finger. So that's your minor. Right? That's the first chord. So your F sharp minor is played for four counts, right? So one, two, three, four. And then you go to the next chord, right? Okay. So First chord is F sharp minor. Second chord is your C sharp minor, which is played for two chords, so with two counts. So it's one, two, and then you go to the next chord. Right? So after F sharp minor, one, two, three, four, then C sharp minor, one, two, and then your next chord, which is your last chord, which is your G sharp minor. So the same position as your F sharp minor, you just slide it. To your fourth fret. Because here is your, is your G sharp. So it's the same position, right? That's your G minor, G sharp minor. Right? So F sharp minor for four counts. One, two, three, four. C sharp minor, two counts. One, two. G sharp minor, two counts. One, two. Right? So it'll be. So you just, this progression goes on till the end of the song. The only difference is like, there's a part where you just put a rest on the F sharp. And then you just go back again to the chords. So it's the same repeated chords throughout the whole song, all right? So there you go. Your chords are sorted. F sharp minor for four counts. C sharp minor for two counts. And lastly, your G sharp minor for two counts. So. Then you just repeat the same thing, all right? So now that you've learned the chords, let's go on to the next part where I show you uh, your strumming pattern and your finger picking pattern, and then you can get ready to play the song to your friends or to your family, whoever you want to play to. Okay, so now that we've learned the three chord progressions, Firstly, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, G sharp minor. Right? Okay. Now we're going to learn, firstly, different ways to play the song, basically. Right? So, the first pattern is just where you just strum one. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Right? So that's the first one. That's like a basic entry level, uh, strumming pattern. It's not really a pattern. You just strum it down all the way. Right? All right. So that's the first one. Now the second one, the second one is going to be a full on strumming pattern. So this is one of the common strumming patterns I've used for 4 over 4 or 2 over 4 time signature songs on my channel, right? If you are a viewer or a subscriber, you should be able to know this by now. I mean, you can kind of hear it, right? 
But if you know it's okay, I'll still teach you how to strum with that, you know, pattern. All right. So the pattern will be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Right. So that's the strumming pattern we're going to use. So. Say for example we are to put it to practice and use it on the song, right? Would be now up up down up up down up down up down up up down up up down up up down 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 up sounds a bit slow right because I mean you're still learning how to strum so if you learn how to strum it faster it should sound like this. right so you have an idea of what it should sound like when you strum faster so you just have to take your time pause the video go back to the specific part you want to practice right and then you just work on it the strumming pattern again is down up up down up up down up down up down up up down up up down up down up down right you just repeat it remember the song is a loop the chords never change it's still the same pattern all the way to the end of the song right so that's pattern number two right now, pattern number three is more or less like a finger picking technique, right? So, it should sound like this. Let me play it and then I'll teach you. Alright? So, that's this one. That's for those that are advanced and want to learn a better way to play like a song to make it chill and more mellow, right? Okay, so, for our F sharp minor, we are going to finger pick with our thumb. Right? String number six, five, four, three. Right? So, six, five, four, three. Na? Six, five, four, three. That's four. F sharp minor. And this same one applies for your G sharp minor. Okay, here. So your F sharp is six, five, four, three. You play it twice. So it goes. Let me do it again. Last time. Okay. Now for the next chord, which is your C sharp minor, you finger pick from string number five. Five, four, three, two. Right? Five, four, three, two. And that's when you only finger pick it once, like. So you only do it once. While you're F sharp, minor, you, you finger pick it twice. Then. Then you go to your G sharp minor, which is the same as the F sharp, which you finger pick your six, five, four, three. Right? So if you do it all together, you can do it slowly first, like. Three different type of finger picking. There's another one, but I'll, I, I think I can do it in a different video. Where it goes, it goes. So it goes a bit faster. But for now, I think this would be a good start, right? If you want me to do a difficult or more advanced lesson on this song, 
just let me know and i will do the lesson all right i hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time